So bitumen is a black, viscous and sticky material derived from crude oil distillation used primarily as a binder in road construction and roofing. So let's go to the properties of bitumen. Adhesive. It is a strong binding properties that hold aggregates together in asphalt. Waterproofing. It is impermeable providing excellent waterproofing for roads and roofs. Then we have thermoplastic. It softens when heated and hardens upon cooling making it workable at high temperature. Then we have durability. It is having resistance to environmental degradation ensuring longevity in applications. Then elasticity. It can flex and recover accommodating minor movements and thermal expansion. So if you see the properties of bitumen, it is adhesive in nature. It means it has strong binding property. Then waterproof means it is impermeable. It means it does not allow water to enter into the roads or roofs. Then thermoplastic means it is it can be applied at high temperature or where places their temperature is too high. So it can be having those non-expansive nature. Then durability, it is resistant to environmental degradation, ensuring longevity. So if you are using bitumen, you can ensure that good longevity can be applicable. Then elasticity means it can come back to the same position after it has moved some minor movements. Then what are the types of bitumen? So first is penetration grade bitumen. It is classified based on penetration test result. Example 30 by 40 or 60 by 70 which indicates the hardness and suitability for various climates. Then we have viscosity grade bitumen. So this is characterized by viscosity at specified temperature. Example VG10, VG30 reflecting flow characteristics. Then we have cut back bitumen. So it, this type of bitumen is dissolved in solvents to reduce viscosity for ease of application evaporating to leave the binder in place. So this bitumen uh, can dissolve in solvent to reduce the viscosity and it can be used for the application of evaporating to leave the binder in place. So the binder will not be misplaced. Then we have bitumen emulsion. So bitumen dispersed in water with an emulsifying agent it is used for cold applications. So this bitumen emulsion is generally used in cold areas or cold applications. Then we have modified bitumen. So enhanced with polymers, rubber or other additives to improve performance that is polymer modified bitumen. So an example is polymer modified bitumen. Then let's dip into the production of bitumen. First, distillation. So it is extracted from crude oil through fractional distillation in refineries. Then we have oxidation. Air blown bitumen produced by blowing air through the residue, it increases the hardness and elasticity. So now air is blown through the bitumen which is produced by blowing air through the residue, so which increases the hardness and elasticity. Then we have blending, mixing different grades or adding modifiers to achieve the desired property. So the production of bitumen includes first distillation means extraction from crude oil, then oxidation, oxidation with the help of air, then blending, blending with the help of different grades of bitumen or adding some modifiers to achieve the desired properties. Then tests and specifications of bitumen. First is penetration test. What it does, it measures the depth a needle penetrates bitumen under standard condition indicating hardness. So once we place a, uh, some sample of bitumen and a needle is allowed to move into the bitumen. So uh, the depth to which the bitumen enters or the needle enters uh, throughout the bitumen will denote the hardness. So we can know the hardness of the bitumen uh, looking into the depth uh, till which the needle has gone inside. Then softening point test. It determines the temperature at which bitumen softens, indicating thermal susceptibility. So, to which thermal temperature it can be used, it can be calculated by using the softening point test. Okay. Then ductility test. It assesses the elongation of bitumen before breaking, reflecting its flexibility. So, if you want to know that uh, what is the flexibility of bitumen, then you can go for ductility test. Then viscosity test. It measures the flow characteristics of bitumen at specified temperature. If you want uh, to know to which uh, uh, amount uh, the bitumen can flow, to which extent the bitumen can flow, then you can go for viscosity test. Then flask point test. It identifies the temperature at which bitumen vapors ignite, indicating safety during heating. So during hot temperature, if uh, bitumen may get uh, 
some fire uh, into the temperature so that can be determined by the flash form test then applications of applications of bitumen road construction the primary use in hot mix asphalt for highways streets and airport runways roofing waterproofing and protective layers in roofing felt and singles damp proofing barrier layers in building foundation to prevent moisture ingress waterproofing sealing materials for tunnels bridges and dams paints and coatings anti corrosive and protective coatings for pipelines and marine structure so what are the advantages of bitumen it is cost effective economical compared to other binders like cement recyclable can be reused in asphalt mixtures promoting sustainability versatile it is advantages cost effective economical compared to other binders like cement recyclable can be reused in asphalt mixtures promoting sustainability versatile suitable for various climates and applications with proper modification durable long lasting and resilient against weathering and traffic loads workable easy to apply and repair making it practical for construction and maintenance disadvantages temperature sensitivity it softens in high temperature and becomes brittle in low temperature environmental concerns emissions during production and application can impact the environment susceptibility to damage prone to rotting cracking and aging over time requiring regular maintenance oil based dependence on crude oil supply and price fluctuation environmental impact and mitigation emissions production and application releases greenhouse gases and volatile organic compounds mitigation strategies use of warm misc asphalt to reduce production temperature and emission incorporation of recycled materials like reclaimed asphalt pavement development of innovations in bitumen technology polymer modified bitumen enhanced with polymers for improved elasticity durability and resistance to deformation warm misc asphalt it is produced and applied at low temperatures reducing fuel consumption and emissions recycled asphalt pavement incorporating reclaimed asphalt to conserve resources and reduce waste nano modified bitumen incorporating nanoparticles to improve mechanical properties and longevity so what are some key points for competitive exams bitumen versus asphalt bitumen is the binder while asphalt is the mixture of bitumen and aggregates penetration grade it indicates the hardness of bitumen with lower values for harder grades viscosity grade it indicates flow properties with higher values for more viscous grades environmental impact focus on sustainable practices and innovations to mitigate negative effects application techniques understanding of hot mix asphalt cold mix asphalt and bitumen emulsions thank you so much please like share and subscribe to ask me classes